I'm used to getting slings and arrows from uh, state of Ohio. Not going to lie. <laughs> not going to lie. Ain't nothing new. I actually showed up in Canton, Ohio and spoke with my chest in front of 5,000 Buckeye you fans sure inside did. of one building, it felt uh, like. Happy you made it out. I, I don't usually, I don't, I don't thrive on the um, awkwardness, uncomfortable. That's not my, that's not my lane. I don't, I don't like being in you the. You don't swim in those waters? No, I don't, I don't like being booed and hissed. And then, and then say, no, no, I'm, I'm here for all that stuff. Of course, a 42 to 27 win over Ohio State will definitely uh, toughen the skin up a little bit. Uh, so, so that's the setup to, um, boy, did we hear an earful. Me personally, too. I, I, I heard from some Browns fans. By the way, you're off. You're way off. Our, our poll question. Uh, did not go in the favor of the general consensus of this room on the very thorny subject, who knew, of Brownie the Elf. Who? Well, it's this it's this monstrously large logo that few people across the country knew even was existing on the planet, let alone associated with the Cleveland Browns organization for, let me do the math properly in my head, about 80 years. And um, Brownie the Elf has been associated with this organization forever and a day, and fans of the Browns know exactly who it is and totally dig him. And the idea that they that, that the Browns have removed the helmet from the middle field logo in Cleveland and put Brownie the Elf on it is a very popular decision. And us saying, who the hell is this Elf and what the hell are the Browns thinking is uh, not popular. <laughs> well, not us. That would, in, in I would say all of us you, thought that. You, you okay. were like, I kind of dig it. And we're all like, what's your malfunction? Yeah. And uh, even uh, just, just uh, uh, we, we, we all got some grief for it, either text or on Twitter. I'll just uh, show you one example of it that will, I think, suffice to stand <laughs> for all of the grief we got. <laughs> Mike Del Tufo got somebody who morphed Brownie the Elf uh, turning his left hand into flipping the bird at him. Yep. <laughs> and said, uh, you it. got this one, right, Mike? Yes, this was okay. at me. I think that sums up the general response. <laughs> so you you know this gentleman. You want to you wanna set this up who we're talking to? Uh, well, yeah, this is a, a, a good friend of mine, uh, Nathan Zagora. He's the new Browns color commentator, color analyst. Yes. And, uh, he texted me yesterday and he gave me the full description mm-hmm. and everything about about Brownie. So All I right. said, "Hey!" And then I walked into work today and you said, "Get him on, get him on." All right, joining us, the man who uh, brings the analysis on the Cleveland Browns radio network and so much more, a diehard Brownie. Uh, although I, I assume he's bigger than an elf. Joining me here on the Rich Eisen <laughs> Show for a few minutes, Nathan Segura. How are you doing, Nathan? Rich, it is great to be with you. TJ, thanks for bringing us together here so we can talk about the beloved Brownie the Elf, Rich. And I just want you to know, yes. I just want you to know this. So this was a logo that first appeared for the team in their inaugural year, 1946. So you had that right almost 80 years yes. ago. Uh, it was on a game day program cover against the Miami Seahawks and tickets ads. And so I understand why people aren't outside of Cleveland, aren't as familiar. So it goes, Art Modell takes over in the 60s and the logo kind of goes away. It comes back in, after 99, and in 2006, it was the Browns kind of training camp logo. And then in 2020, when the Browns make their wonderful playoff run, Kevin Stefanski was wearing a sweatshirt that was, says the Cleveland Browns equipment staff, and it had that running Brownie the Elf on it. It became the most popular item of clothing in this city. Nobody could get it, but I am told, Rich, J.W. Johnson, our owner and executive vice president, told me he will be happy to send you a brownie oh. hoodie. Just give me the size, and, and we'll get you hooked up in this hot, hip Cleveland gear here. And I, I truly appreciate that. Um, I, I'm sure I can give it to a Brown fan because, what's the phrase? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be caught dead in it. But um, <laughs> no, I'm just having fun with it. No, I, I look, in, in, in all honesty, um, I, I know it's beloved, but really, midfield? For the whole so country th- to see? I mean, like, out of, you know, really? Is that what we're doing here? We're doing so here? here's what happened, Rich. So for the last few years, there's been nothing at midfield for the Browns. And you were talking about when the helmet was there, and that yeah, had yeah. been traditionally what was at midfield. So this year, we decided, hey, we're going to put something back at midfield. And our, you know, our head of marketing, Brent Rossi, JW, they came up with an idea that there was going to be four options presented to our fans and decided by our fans. So there were four field options that were presented. One had, two of them had the helmet at, at the midfield. One had the traditional Brownie the Elf where he's kind of standing there with his hands on his hips. And then one had this running Brownie the Elf, which was, I said became popular on Stefanski's hoodie. And nearly 100,000 votes later, 
this is what was chosen. So this is the voice of the Cleveland Browns fan. They have selected Brownie the Elf to be at the 50-yard line. And as you said so eloquently yesterday, when I am calling games, yes, I will be looking down at that big old elf (laughs) and hopefully looking at some Browns victories as well. Well, not to correct you, I said big-ass elf is what I said. (laughs) Well, I was trying to keep it clean. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm sorry, Nathan. I guess I just uh, have the potty mouth when it comes to all that right here. uh, As we're we're nearing the end of hour number one uh, of right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Nate Boyer, no relation to Nate Segura, is going to be joining us in studio to talk MVP in hour number two. Still here on Roku for about another minute and a half. So, Nathan, you're saying this is a fan vote? The fans say yes, let's put that on there. So they're they're only following the will of the fans, is what you're saying. That's right. And the Browns fans, as you know, some of the best in the world. They are undefeated. They've been with us through thick of course, and thin. I know that. And unfortunately, too much thin at times. But, yes, yes, this is their will. They said, get Brownie the Elf at the 50. <laughs> we have heard it. It is happening. And that will be the home opener against Sauce, your previous guest, and the yes. Jets this Sunday. Okay. So, Art Modell de-elfed the Browns and right. then d Browns to Cleveland, and then Randy Lerner put the elf back in, and then uh, Stefanski put the elf on his chest, and now suddenly he's at midfield because the fans want it, and we stepped in saying, who the hell is this elf, and we hate it, and that's why there's a lot of scorn being sent in our direction from the state of Ohio. Is that sum it all up? I would say you summed it up perfectly. (laughs) Thank you very much. (laughs) Thank you, sir. Have have a great broadcast. We'll have you on throughout the season, and I I will take – you know, I, I will take one of those for sure. What size you need, Rich? Uh, large. large. Large? You got it. Yeah, thank you so much, Nathan. Great right, brother. Yeah. There you go. I'll take one. All right, Nate. If the Browns are offering, if it's free, it's me. Of course. All right, send me three. And we stroll in. We're like, we hate it. And the fans are like, we love it. And then the fans are like, yeah, look who's going to be in the middle of the field. It's Brown and the Elf. And then we're like, we we're hate like, it. That looks stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> yeah, we want it. <laughs> tried to tell you guys. I tried to tell you. Our bad? <laughs> Our bad? It's still the worst. It's still, yeah, still, it's still, it's still, it's still the worst. It's still If they lose to the Jets on Sunday, the elf is gone. See ya. Rip it up. See ya.